Uh, how do you sum up this bunch of boys? Passionate? Um, yeah, energetic, I think is probably the word that I'd, I'd, I'd use. I think um, you know the energy around them is, is fantastic and I think that's seen um, you know, obviously in their delivery of performance, but in and around the place as well as some, um, they can dance, they can got some dance moves, that's for sure. Um, but they're just a bounce around them, I reckon. They're going to have to find some moves on Saturday night. Where's this game won? Yeah, um, well, look, I think for us, I think what, what is in front of us is a, a team with probably um, five or six of the best players in the world in that position. Um, so for us to get a result that weekend, we've got to be at our absolute best. And I think Chris has just spoke about it. Um, our execution's got to be as good as it's been throughout the competition. I think the biggest thing also about tomorrow is the self-belief. Because, I mean, it's, they've got the stack full of um, Penrith players and that's something they, they bring from Clubland. There's a real belief in that in the team. Yeah, I think a bit of an aura as well, a bit of a confidence aura. I think um, even after the, the first hit out against England, the response was pretty unique. Um, you know, we, we had a prayer maker come in and say, look, we've, we've got, it's God's plan, we've got to forget about that as quick as we can. And it took me by surprise a little bit how quick they forgot about it. You know, by the time we got to the bus, it was done and dusted. So um, the response from that has been fantastic. I think we've grown as a group um, in every game since, and hopefully we can, we can peak on Saturday. Who, has anyone surprised you, Miss Camp and these boys that didn't know they had something in them either on the field or off the field in a leadership capacity? Uh, I wouldn't say surprise. Well, yeah, it is a surprise. I, you know, I've just obviously just heard you speaking about Joseph Sawali. I think his talents are obviously there to see on, on a weekend, but how he, um, how he is in and around the place as well is pretty special for a 19 year old kid um, to, to have um, the growth mindset that he's got is, is pretty phenomenal and um, he's a very receptive kid to coach as well, which you know, sometimes you don't often get with kids that age, um, but he's he's got that confidence and he's got that aura around him. But he's um, he's really willing to learn as well. Bizer and Tiny, are they is it flu? Is it in or is it just resting? Like where are they then? Yeah, no, just resting up and hopefully going to get their energy levels as high as they can be for for Saturday and obviously for the challenge that's ahead. Is this the type of game that you really sort of uh, prime Jerome? Not that he's going to need it because he's a pest anyway at the best of times. But is this one that you know for, for him to really step up in? I just think he's done that throughout his career. The bigger the game, the better his performance and. Um, I'm sure Saturday's going to be no difference. I think one thing you will have on Saturday is a lot of vocal English support. Um, that is for sure. So hopefully this little old nation um, in the Pacific can cause an upset. Do you think the crowd will be on your side? Everyone loves an underdog. Yeah, definitely. And please don't take this the wrong way, but the, you know we're pretty sick of seeing Australia win it as well. <laughs> so um, I'm pretty sure you'll have, you'll have some vocality there, definitely. Do you think how many... English fans might not know where Samoa is or might not have heard of Samoa a lot before this tournament? Maybe. No, I think we've had our fair share of uh, Polynesian players obviously come over to Super League and, and contribute massively as well. So, um, yeah, even before the competition started, uh, you know, the announcements of some of the blocks that were going to participate for us, the, the, the buzz was around the place. Um, we pretty much hit a brick wall when we played England game one. That's that. The handbrakes came on then, but since then, like I said, we've just got a bit better every game. And hopefully, we're going to peak on Saturday. Were you um, victim of the shenanigans from the English team, the knock and run and the carry on? No, 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 no. I don't think they'd have done that to my role. Not too rude. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come across them at all, Charles? It was just no, I, yeah. So I've gone back to the hole. I, I, I don't know where it's come from. I don't know where the reports have come from, but I spoke to Wayne yesterday. I don't think there's that way. I spoke to our boys in the, um, in the Eaton area, and I don't think. Um, I think the partying was probably the night before we got here. So, so Wayne said there was no dust up? No, 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 Wayne asked me. And I told him there was no dust up. Great as um, outside of football, what's the experience been like um, with the Samoan boys <laughs> um, having Freddie in camp? What's that experience been like? Surreal, you? yeah. It's um, even fr you know, from the get go, sort of hitting the hotel in Doncaster, him telling them to get my shirt off and bust some shapes out, wear a dress. Um, some carver, it's been pretty unique. I've, I've loved it, I've absolutely loved it. I love being around them, and like I said, their, their energy is infectious. And I don't think it's any um, secret why Penrith have probably had the success they've had with the with them boys involved in it. A lot of um, outsiders see the Penrith boys as quite arrogant. You've been up close to them, you know, constantly, that you couldn't be further from the truth. They're very humble and they're competitive. Yeah, I think. Um, the arrogance comes from when you're that good. You know, I don't like people that are amazing at, at beating you at things. So yeah, I think um, 
I've, no, I've honestly I've seen none of that. It's been it's been a um, a real humbling experience being around them, and like I said, how receptive they've been um, to the coaching staff and everybody in the in the country or every hotel we've stayed at. The, the, how they handle themselves has been um, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. No Thank you. Pacific Easy, more two pefa more isa more. Well, over the long o o o tasio no no. Pole rufi tuo no fit weva fit to far. Pole rufi tuo no fit weva vanu far. Car for you to sell out Great South Road in Manuela. Telephone over the long luolo fit to far Ivan Novado. Over the long luolo fit to far Ivan Novado.